The 70th Square Dancing Convention is in Jackson after taking a year off last year because of COVID and hundreds of dancers are thrilled to be in the capital city. People are ready to dance and have fun and stuff. You get to see your friends that you've met at the Nationals and get together with them again. It's just like a reunion. Saturday, the dancers loaded up on buses and took a tour around the city, stopping to dance along the way. The first stop was at the Farmer's Market. Splash Mob Tour is a way for the dancers to get to see parts of Jackson and have fun and expose what we love doing, our hobby, to all the people in this area. Even though there are hundreds of dancers, organizers say COVID is still having an impact on them because dancers from other countries weren't able to come. The chairman of the event say dancing is a form of communication for them and they miss their dancers from other parts of the globe. It's the same thing no matter where you're dancing at. First time I went to a national, I danced in a square with a couple from Japan. They couldn't speak a lick of English, but the calls are the same no matter what country in it. There are competitions and lessons all weekend long at the convention center, but these flash mobs were one way to try to get others to join them. They love dancing in front of people that have not seen it just to try to get more enthusiasm and build up, you know, get other people interested in their hobby, which they have a passion for. The convention in Jackson will wrap up Saturday night and next year's convention is already being planned in Evansville, Tennessee. Allie Ware, 16, WAPT News.